talking about at number 40. Okay, number seven. Um, first, we'll quickly, quickly review the simplify part, okay? Are we allowed to do We have uh, the number nine. That's nine ones. This is five X's, which we call, well, things that are not like terms, okay? These are nine ones. One plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one. Nine ones. Here's five X's. X plus X plus X plus X plus X. Five X's. Can't go together. So this would not be 14X, right? Not 14X. Not the same thing. Can't be 14X. Can't be 14 ones. They're not the same thing, and we can't combine them. Right. But these are the same thing, 5x and negative 9x. And we put those together, we get 9 minus 4x. 5x minus 9x is negative 4x. Okay. So, now let's look at both rounds of plugging things in for x. And that number for number 7 was negative 8. Okay. I'll plug negative 8 in for this x. So it's 9 plus 5 times negative 8 minus 9 times negative 8. I like to use parentheses, especially with negatives there. Uh, it keeps things pretty straight. What's 5 times negative 8? Yeah. Oh, uh, negative 40. Negative 40. I guess I didn't even put plus. I could have just said minus 40. It's the same thing. Negative 9 times negative 8? Negative 72. Now, it's a negative times a negative is a positive. 72. Okay. Uh, 9 minus 40 is negative 31. 2 is 41. 41. That's what I did. My uncle said that I was wrong. Yeah, I said your dad are both wrong. <laughs> okay, now we're going to plug negative 8 into this simplified expression. 9 minus 4 times negative 8. What's negative 4 times negative 8? Negative 4 times negative 8? Yeah, no, negative 32. Oh, positive. positive 32. 32 plus 9? Uh, 42. 41. 41. Well, look at that. Right. Now plugging that in and seeing that you get the same result is the whole point of you taking that home and having that very simple assignment of plugging that into this expression or whichever number it was, whatever expression it was. Okay? This whole idea between behind simplifying an expression. The reason why we would simplify it is because we're going to oftentimes in a class like this, want to plug things in for x. And if I'm going to plug something in for x, I'd rather plug it in here and just do one multiplication problem, one addition problem, and be done with it, as opposed to having to multiply two numbers, combine three together to finally get the final answer. Okay? Yes, Dr. Um, can you quickly go over how you got the um, simplified um, expression? Mm -hmm. So here's the simplified expression. It's the simplified version of this. All right. So the negative 4x comes from 5x minus 9x. Right. Like 5 minus 9 is negative 4. Right. So 5x's minus 9x's, that's going to put us into negative x's, right? Yeah. That makes sense? Negative 4x's is what we have after we subtract those. Right. So that combines the negative 4x. Now the nine's there, we, put, we would put those together, except they don't go together. They're not the same kind of thing. They don't, they don't mesh, we can't collect them and say that we have like five x's, because these are not x's. Okay. So we leave it, that's it, we simplify. Does that clear it up? Yeah. Okay. All right, any other questions from homework? This is not about homework, but what's that thing on your neck? These are Bluetooth headphones that I often forget to take off. All right. Question about homework. Tiana? OK, on number eight, uh, I have 27. And I think that's right. You think that's, well, was it on the front yeah. screen? Seven. Maybe seven? See, yeah, then, then when me and my uncle and dad did that, they, they got all sorts of different numbers, and they've done it several times. And then I got negative 27, I, or positive 27, so I just stuck with that. And we it, each time that we tried to simplify it, we couldn't get it. And so. OK. Well, let's look at it. Number eight. One 
minus 3x plus 10. Average. Uh, so first we'll simplify. We'll put things together that are the same kinds of things. Okay. In this case, we only have one x term. Right. Yep. It tells us all the x's that we have. We have negative three x's. There's no combining that with anything because there are no other x's there. But we do have one, one, right? A one, a number one. We also have here ten. ten ones, right? Ten number ones added together. Does that make sense? Yeah. Ten number ones added together. We have one positive one, and we have positive ten. So eleven. So eleven. Oh, I'm not bringing. So ten plugged together with another one, they're both positive, right? So we're eleven to the right of zero on the number line. And with number eight, we're plug plugging in six. Okay, x equals six. So we have uh, negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. Minus 18 is negative 17 plus 10, negative 7. Good job. We do it again, but we plug in 6 uh, into the simplified version. I think this one's a little easier to see. Like, Of course, they're going to come out the same. I'm going to take negative 3 times 6 here to negative 3 times 6. And in this case, I added 1 and then I added 10, which is the same as just adding 11. Right, so we wind up with negative 18 plus 11 is negative 7. We didn't come out with the same thing, something went wrong. Either we did our math wrong here, or our math wrong here, or we simplified incorrectly. Okay? If we plug, if we have a, a, an expression and a simplified version of that same expression, anything we plug into x here or here should always come out to be the same. Yeah? Okay, so when I did my, I, um, because I plugged the number in before I, you know, did anything else, so I plugged in uh, 6 for x, and then I multiplied 3 and 6 and got 18, but... Should be negative, though. Yeah, I didn't get negative. I just put it down as a positive, and uh, that's, I think, where I went wrong. Okay. Because they, then um, I went 1 minus 18 to 17 plus 10, and then I got mm. 27. Okay, makes sense. So we just need to, that's a, a common thing that gets messed up. We want to make sure that we keep those negatives, keep track of all those negatives and positives, we keep track of all those signs, okay? So when we have a negative three times a positive six, we get a negative 18. Negative times a negative is a positive. Positive times a negative is a negative. Negative times a positive is negative. Of course, a positive times a positive is a positive. Keep track of all those positives and negatives when you plug something in for x, all right? Other questions? Okay, let's talk about simplifying for a little bit more. And I want you, it's really important, it's going to be really helpful as we go forward, and we're going to simplify more and more and more expressions, right? Like simplifying expressions is just going to be like a tiny little part of other problems. I'm just going to assume that you understand how to simplify an expression. It's just like, yeah, simplifying expression is a given. But we're not going to test you on that anymore. It's just going to be a thing that you need to be able to do to complete more complex problem. So understanding why things simplify the way they do is an important thing. Okay? And having food in class specifically does not abstract do not share. Okay. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Number three. 
x minus 3 plus 6 minus 2x. So this expression would be the same as if I wrote it this way. step. x minus 3 is the same as x plus what? Negative. Negative 3. Plus 6 plus what? Negative 2. Negative 2x. Okay. So now I, I see it as addition. And the important thing about this, you don't have to write it this way every time, but I'm trying to show you that this, this minus here belongs with the 3. Whether you look at it as subtracting 3, or adding a negative 3, at some point, one of the things you're supposed to do to, to combine all of this stuff together is move to the left 3 on the number line. Subtract 3, add negative 3. So if that negative kind of flies around and gets lost or winds up landing on some other term in the expression, now it's, it's all wrong. Right? Completely different from what it started. So that negative needs to stick like glue that 3, because it belongs to the 3. We're going to subtract 3. We're not going to subtract 6. Okay? We're not going to subtract 9. Okay? That's not 9. We just violated the, the order of operations and did things out of order. We didn't do it left to right. Okay? So if you can see these, these minus signs as belonging to the number that they're with, okay? that's going to help a lot. So. Seeing it as the addition of a bunch of things, some of those things being negative, now I can see that I can rearrange these things. Because when I add stuff together, here's an example of adding some stuff together. 2 plus 5 plus 7 plus 1. Okay. Does it make a difference if I do it in this order? No. No, I'm going to move to the right two, then five, move to the right seven, then move to the right one. It doesn't make any difference if I instead move to the right for a five first, then two to the right, then one to the right, then seven to the right on the number line. I'm going to wind up with the same number. Agreed? This is what we call the commutative property of addition. We can commute, move around. Right? If you commute for work, you move around. It's a commutative property. So I'm using the commutative property of addition I'm adding negative 3, and I'm adding 6, and I'm adding negative 2x. And so I'm going to put x minus 2x together, and negative 3x or negative 3 plus 6 together. Any questions so far? Pretty crucial there. If you're good up to there, then well, you're in good shape. We can really make something out of that. So any questions about that? Make sure those negatives, they stay with the numbers that they're with to start with. Okay? So now we have x minus 2x. Right? We can put those together. We can combine those because they're both x's. Or they're both, to use an analogy, both apples, or they're both horses, or they're both kittens, or whatever they are. They're the same thing. All right? So if we have a positive 1x and we subtract 2x's from that 1x, then how many x's do we have? 3x. Negative 3x. We have an x. Let's look at a number line. Here is 0, and here is x, whatever x is. I'm not sure. This could be uh, the number 1. This could be 1,000. It could be 517. It's just it's x. It's out there to the right. x amount. Okay? Starting out there, positive x. Now I'm going to subtract 2x. I'm going to go back 1, 2, so negative x. x. Negative 1x. Or negative x. You don't have to put a 1 there. 1 is understood. Just like there's not a 1 in front of this x. So negative x? Negative x. Negative x, negative 1x, they're both the same thing. Now I have a negative 3 plus a 6. Just 3. Just 3. Common mistake here might be to get minus 9. Okay? But you're going out of order there. So you'd be doing 3 plus 6 first and then saying minus 9. Not correct. Start with negative 3, we're here on the left side of 0, 3, we move up 6, we're at a positive 3. So we can only put x's with x's, we can only put 1's with 1's, we can 
only put Y's with Y's. Only put Z's with Z's. This, well, should make some intuitive sense. You don't put apples and oranges together, so you don't put X's and Y's together. You don't put X's and Y's together. Did that answer your question, Jackson? Any other questions about number three? No. And if I were to plug in the value for x, we don't even have to use one from the worksheet. We can just make one up. We'll plug in four. Four. Why not? Four. Right? Four minus three plus six minus two times four. Negative two times four is negative eight. Four minus three plus six minus eight. Four minus three is one. Plus six minus eight. Six plus one. Seven minus eight. Negative one. Let's put that four in here. Negative one times four plus three. Negative one times four is negative four. Plus three is negative one. So a simplified version of, a, of an expression going to do the same thing to any x that you put into it as the more complicated version of that expression. Which way do you like to use What's that? Which way do you like to use What do you mean, which way? That way or that way? Like the simplified well, version. The simplified version was a lot faster, right? Yeah. So I, I always prefer that. If it were my job to plug things into an expression and see what comes out, definitely going to take this and before I plug anything into X, I'm going to simplify it and continue from there. I like the non version. I'm going to get the X's. Yeah, I don't know. It's not an excuse for not learning about it. So we're going to press through, right? We're going to learn about simplifying expressions. If you choose not to, you're just hurting yourself. Okay. What, what's so hard about like x minus 2x is negative x. Um, it's hard to help someone who doesn't know why it's difficult. Yeah? Yeah. 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 How did you get negative 1x if it's just x minus 2x? Because it is, it's just pretty much negative x. You got a number line. Okay, there's zero. Okay, so this is x. Well, let's, let's treat it like positive x, right? Positive oh, one x. One. Okay. Yeah, that's one x. Right. That's like saying how many x's I have, and then I take two x's from that. But when I take away one, I don't have any x's. Zero x. Zero. Move back another one. Now I'm into the negative x's. Negative x there. X could be a million. Could be. So that would be a negative a million. This would be a million. This would be minus one million, minus two million. If you bet negative one million. As I walk around, I see there are, there are plenty of people who are ready to move on to something new because they've been keeping up to date, they've been asking questions, and all this kind of good stuff. All right, We are going to have more time. We're going to have a lot more practice with simplifying functions or simplifying expressions, but the expressions are going to be a little bit more complicated. Okay, So ask more questions. Put on the homework. Right? Be more engaged. All right, look like Tiana had another question. Oh, yeah, it was about uh, number four. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to put negative 12 or positive 12. Okay, let's find out. 4, 7x minus 10x. And x is negative 4. Uh-huh, and then I did uh, 7 times negative 4, which was negative 28. Uh, and then I did 10 times negative 4, which got negative 40. But it's a negative 10. Negative 10 times negative 4. Oh, okay, so yeah, then it was just 40. Okay, yeah, so Plus 40. I got it. Negative 28. So then it would just be uh, 12. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or 
We have seven x's, okay? So we're like at seven x, there's zero, and there's seven x, right? And then we do, what do we do from there? Seven three minus three x. Yes, see, you're getting it. We take seven x and we go back 10 x's. Well, seven would take us back to zero, yeah. right? And three more x's. Right, is a total of minus 10. And there's 7, 8, 9, 10. Which gets us to negative 3x. So negative 3x, that's the simplified version. So when I plug negative 4 in here, no big surprise, because we already did the work over there. Negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. Okay. So what we're learning here is to take a number and multiply it by 7, and take that same number and multiply it by negative 10, and to combine those two numbers, it would just be the same as taking that same number and just multiplying by negative 3, which you can kind of see here. Taking a number and moving it 7 times that number, and then moving back 10 times that number would have been the same as just moving back 3 times that number. So there would be a million, or 10, or 12, whatever the number is. It would be the same as just doing negative 3 times that number. OK? In real life, like in real life, will you ever use <coughs> 7x minus 10x? You definitely could. You can't avoid it your entire life, that's possible. No one will die if they avoid this. So, it's okay. Do you struggle with how to Depends on what you want to do. Okay. I'll be okay. What are you going to do that? Fire. 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 We can philosophize at some other time. Are there questions about simplifying expressions or plugging values of x in to that expression? Or are you ready to do either one of those as I ask? That's what I'm going to ask you to do. Are you ready to show me that you can simplify an expression? Yeah. 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 Ready to give it a shot. Okay. It is. It is low. As long as you Low probability. What's the word I'm trying to think of? Low stakes. Pretty low stakes. This thing that I'm going to ask you to do is going to be graded, but the impact on your grade is not going to be massive. Yes. What do you want? Uh, you're going to hold on to those. Do we need them? It's always a good idea to hold on to things that you've done. I need to turn my I'm not to All right. Let's make sure our desk looks like this, meaning we put our notebooks down, we put our phones away, put our books away. If you happen to have brought you today, everything's put away. We have a piece of paper. Are you randomly all calculator if uh, you feel like you need it? All right, so let's simplify this expression. All right. Here we have three x's. It's like x plus x plus x. It's literally what 3x means, right? We talked about multiplication, not multiplication, it's repeated addition. So that is exactly what 3x means. All right, we'll add nine, nine ones. Okay, I could write a bunch of ones plus each other, but I won't. Okay. Here we have minus 4x. So that means subtract 4x. So I'll do that. Minus 1x, minus another one, minus another one, minus another one. Okay, I subtracted 4x's. Okay? Plus seven ones. I could put one plus one seven times, but I won't. All right, so there's a bunch of x's. Here's some x's. They're negative x's. Okay? They're like an x and a minus x obliterate each other, right? They cancel each other out. Uh, so whenever we try to combine those two, they cancel each other out. Those two cancel each other out. Those two cancel each other out. Right. Cancel, cancel, this cancel, this cancel, and we're left with just a negative x and a plus 16. Negative x plus 16.